Hey, what is up guys? Gemini Jets 10 here and welcome back to another Gemini Jets airport update of Austin Zeppelin International Airport. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys um, for how far we came. We are now at update 40, which I know isn't that big of a milestone, but on the day that I am filming this, my third video, a third video on my YouTube channel, sorry, hit 1000 views and that in my eyes is a huge milestone. Uh, never did I think any of my videos would ever become to get that popular. But yeah, so this YouTube channel has came such a long way since I began this airport. Uh, I began this airport on the floor of my room, and now I have a detailed model airport on a table. And yeah, so I guess guys, let's just get right into this airport update. This airport update takes place in the early afternoon hours, so the lunch rush is just beginning. Um, American Airlines retired the CRJ-200 service to Austin Zeppelin International Airport as that aircraft was starting to get outdated. Uh, definitely a new livery uh, CRJ-200 is to come soon. Other than that, another news, Qantas has a new schedule. Um, they will not fly in in the morning and depart in the evening. Will heart stand during the afternoon hours. <clears throat> And other than that, the domestic terminal has changed, and I think that's about it. So let's just get right into this airport update. So we'll start off here at the cargo center slash heart stands. Right here we have a Qantas 747-400 in the Socceroo library. This aircraft arrived in this morning from, this morning, sorry, from Sydney. And it will head out back to Sydney this afternoon, this evening, sorry. Right there in the background, we have a UPS Boeing 747-400 freighter. Let's actually try to get a better view of this aircraft, I guess. Um, not good. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, right here we have a UPS Boeing 747-400 freighter. This aircraft came in this morning from Anchorage, originated in Beijing. And it will head out to Louisville in a little bit. As you can see, freight is just arriving to the aircraft. Moving on here to the taxiways, I'm actually going to shut off the flashlight real quick, guys. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Just hoped that probably would get a bit of better lighting. So, yeah, uh, right here we have an Airdo 767-300. Uh, this aircraft is just taxiing to the gate. Stopped over in Anchorage, originated in Tokyo at Haneda Airport. By the way, guys, this airport update does contain subscriber routes. So, right here we have a United Express Embraer ERJ-145. Uh, this aircraft came in this morning from Central... <laughs> sorry, uh, this aircraft just came in from Central Florida International Airport, or Aviation Footballers Airport. On final approach right here, we have the British Whale Airbus A380-800, uh, just coming in from London Heathrow. So here at the domestic terminal, right here, we have a United a United 737-900ER in the Eco Skies Library. Uh, this aircraft is going to be heading out to San Francisco. Uh, I closed the subscriber route with this aircraft, so if you guys want a route on the United Eco Sky 737-900, please comment down below. So right here, just taxing today, it's actually... Uh, we'll keep the camera up close, sorry. Right here, taxiing to gate, landed in from Abu Dhabi, is the beautiful Etihad 777-300ER. Right here, just pulled into gate from Oklahoma City, uh, we have an American Airlines Airbus A319. Uh, baggage belt has just risen to the back door of the aircraft. Passengers are just being to the board. Pulling in here to the corner gate, we have an American Airlines 737-800. This aircraft came in from New York's Tri-State International Airport, or AS Aviations Airport. Right here we have an Allegiant MD-83. Uh, this aircraft is heading out to Burlington, Central Carolina, or Citrus Aviations Airport. Baggage and passengers are loading on board. Right here, heart standing, we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue Library. Came in this morning from Central Texas International Airport, and in about an hour or so, 
it will load up and head back out for the short flight down south to Central Texas International Airport. Or to the 1975's airport, sorry about that. And right here we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 library. This aircraft just came in from Northern Maine International Airport or Delta Flyer 24 Leidens Airport. Baggage just arrived at the aircraft, uh, empty baggage crates, sorry, just arrived at the aircraft to get the baggage off and a bus is just pulling to the aircraft. Pulling here into the Delta gates, we have a Delta 737-800 just came in from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson. And in the hangar right here, in the narrow body hangar, sorry, we have a Delta MD-90. Uh, MD-88, sorry, this aircraft just came in from Somerset County International Airport or Nick Glynos' airport. And right here, taxiing in from Tokyo, uh, we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. Uh, this aircraft just came in from Tokyo, I think I said that. Uh, and there's a better view of the aircraft. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm not sure if you noticed in previous updates or not, but this aircraft's nose landing gear was broken. Uh, and I did a really crappy job of re-gluing it back to the aircraft. So, yeah, did a much better job this time, and it looks great in my opinion. So, let's move on to the International Terminal. So, now here at the International Terminal, uh, we have a Delta Airbus A330. Sorry, Airbus A330-300 just arrived in from... Amsterdam Schiphol in competition with the KLM flight. By the way, the international terminal is now a separate terminal building from the domestic terminal. Not sure if I said that at the beginning of the update or not, but yeah. Virgin Atlantic 747-400, just pulling into the gate, taxing to gate, sorry, from London Heathrow. Um, right here, we have an American Airlines 777-300ER. This aircraft uh, is loading, going to depart about four-ish hours late to uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle, sorry. Um, yeah, the, air the flight was delayed, sorry, for unknown reasons, but it is now loading up for Paris several hours late. It should have departed this morning. Right here, we have an Air Canada Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner in the old library. Just waiting pushback clearance for Toronto Pearson. And right here, we have a beautiful KLM 747-400 Combi in the new library. Uh, this aircraft just arrived in from Amsterdam Schiphol in competition with the Delta flight. And a cleaning truck is just pulling to the aircraft. And right here we have an Emirates Airbus A380-800 getting heavily serviced, baggage is coming off, the crew is coming off, and fuel is getting loaded on board. Passengers are coming off as well. This aircraft just arrived in from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Alright, we'll end off here with the American 777-200ER. So thank you guys so much for watching this airport update. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for how far this channel has come. Uh, just in general, since we started this airport, this airport was truly the airport that kicked my channel off. Um, comment down below if you guys want me to bring back Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Uh, I've been considering do that, considering doing that. I would, of course, need to get a lot more American Airlines models, so it would be a long time before I would have, like, a complete Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. But, yeah, I guess. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. And stay tuned to my Instagram as, not this weekend, but the weekend after, I am most likely going spotting out at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And again, thank you guys all so much very, so very much for watching. I will talk to you guys all later. Have a wonderful evening, and yeah, goodbye guys.